Okay, today I'm gonna to show you how to connect two Wi-Fi connections, uh, connecting the head unit as well as being able to connect to a hotspot or a Wi-Fi modem of your choice. Uh, we're gonna start by uh, talking about this USB Wi-Fi adapter here that I have plugged into the bottom right-hand side of the screen. Um, I went ahead and got an Asus 1200, uh, bought it at a tech store. Uh, you can find them ranging from $15 to $50 depending on how fast you want that thing to run. Um, we're gonna start by going to our Wi-Fi settings. We go ahead and click the bottom. And notice how I've plugged it in and now I have two options. Wi-Fi 2, I believe, is the internal Wi-Fi signal that comes with the tablet. And then now Wi-Fi 3 is the actual adapter on the bottom right-hand corner. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, connect all of this so I have internet as well as using the PLT head unit uh, connection at the same time. Uh, first, I'm going to go into HCL software, and I'm going to make sure I've gone to my tool and connection. Um, I automatically have my head unit set up. I have the serial number matched. I have it on PLT 300, and I have my uh, auto connect on. So I just want to make sure that at first. We go back to the main menu. We're going to go ahead and go down to that Wi-Fi. We're going to go into network settings. And then now I have two settings. We're gonna make sure the PLT 300 unit is off because it does like to hog the signal. So I wanna have the Wi-Fi 3 connection connected first already to the internet and locked on. So right now we're gonna go ahead and push that on button and we can show available networks if we want to. It's gonna go ahead and turn it on. Mine automatically connected my home Wi-Fi. You might have to go into, let's go Wi-Fi 3. You might have to find yours, put your password in and connect that way. But again, mine is already auto connected. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the PLT on. You heard me push the button. It's gonna take around 30 to 45 seconds uh, to connect to your tablet. It's got to send the Wi-Fi signal and self level at the same time. So we're gonna let that happen. And now we're gonna go ahead and push Wi-Fi 2 on and we can show the networks. And we're going to wait until it pops up on the right side of our screen. All right, Wi-Fi 2 has found the PLT with the serial number that matches the bottom. And it has automatically connected itself uh, to Wi-Fi 2, which is the internal Wi-Fi that's coming from the tablet. Now that I have connection to my internet at my house through Wi-Fi 3, and I also have connection through Wi-Fi 2 to my PLT, I'm able to do a couple different things that I wasn't able to do before I had a Wi-Fi 3 adapter. I'm gonna to go to the main screen by pushing the Windows button, and now I'm gonna go back into construction, Hilti Construction Layout. I have my Wi-Fi signal and my, uh, my head unit on. I am connected and ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and go back. And then now I can go to the internet and maybe watch training videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna go ahead and push that link. And now I know I am connected to the internet because it's loading. Set up your Windows tablet for success and easeability so that you can use the Hilti. And then lastly, um, Hilti offers a great service. I found it in the settings. Push the settings there. And then if you scroll all the way to the bottom, there's a support tab. If you contact your local rep, you can actually hit remote support and they can actually control your screen or help you walk through the issues that you're having. Or they can even train you, uh, maybe showing you tips and tricks um, in the future. Thank you very much.